Hello everyone, welcome back to another Python tutorial. So before we get into the subject for today, let's do a quick review on what we did last time. So last time we learned how to add colours to our shapes in Turtle, and we learned how to make a variety of shapes in Turtle. So here are the topics for today. So we're just going to make a turtle project. We're going to make like a, t a smiley face and it's going to be really cool. So I'm just going to show you some turtle commands we will use today in our smiley face project. So let me just read you through it. So there's t.pen. So t.pen basically means, so once you do t.pen, you can set lots of things inside it. So for example, you can set the pen color so which is black and then we can set the fill color which is yellow so the pen color is just the outline if you didn't know and the fill color is just what's going to be inside of the outline then we can do the pen size so that's just the thickness of the pen and then we, we can set the speed so the highest speed is zero but we're just going to make it five so we can see it drawing the smiley face so there's t dot pen up so t dot pen up will basically just lift the pen off the screen for example we want to to go to like a specific coordinate so we have to lift our pen up and then it can go there and then we can put our pen down so that's the next one t dot pen down so this will just put the pen on the screen again so it will show a pen like kind of trail when it draws then t dot go to x and y so this just makes it go to a coordinate on the screen and i'm going to explain you the coordinate system a bit later in this video and also i explain the coordinate system in my scratch too so if you haven't already seen my scratch videos please check them out then there's t dot hide turtle so this will just hide the turtle on the screen so it's useful when you want it to draw something and you don't want like the turtle to show when it's drawing and then there's t dot background color so this will just set the background color all right guys so in order to make our smiley face we have to first learn the coordinate system so again i've explained this in my scratch videos but I'm just going to explain it to you if you haven't seen my second scratch video yet. So this is how the coordinate system looks like. So you'll see over here there's four quadrants. So there's quadrant number one, quadrant number two, quadrant number three, and quadrant number four. So the x-axis is the horizontal line and it always goes first when you say the coordinates. And the y-axis is a vertical line. And you say it's second or last when you write the coordinates. So if you don't understand it, I'm going to go through an example. All right, so the first place we have to go to is 100, 100. So that's somewhere in the first quadrant. And the second place we have to go to is negative 100 and then positive 100. So that's somewhere in the second quadrant. Then the third place we need to go to is negative 100, negative 100, and then that's somewhere in the third quadrant. And the last place we need to go is positive 100 and negative 100. So if we join these four points together, it will create a large square. So you don't have to use like the coordinate system in order to draw a square. But if you want its position to be specific enough, you can use the t.goto function. Alright, so now we're going to make the project, which is a smiley face. So this is how it looks like, and we also added a background colour. Alright guys, so now you have to open up idle, so just create a new file, and then you can call it turtle underscore smiley dot py, and then you can save it anywhere you want, so I've saved mine in Python projects. So once you've done that, we can start typing the program. So the first thing we have to type is obviously import turtle and then we have to type t equals the turtle dot turtle and then we have to end the parentheses. Alright, so now we're going to set the pen. So we're going to do t dot pen and then we're going to open up parentheses. So the first thing we're going to do is set the pen color. So we can type pen color equals 
and then we have to do some quotes because it's a string and then you can set the pen color so I'm gonna set it to black and then we have to end the quotes of course and now we can do a fill color and then that's gonna be yellow the separate things you want to set then there's pen size so since we're assigning it to a number we don't need any quotes because it's an integer and then we can set the speed so that's going to be five so again you can make it faster but i'm just going to set it five for now because we want you to like actually see how it's drawing it then we can do turtle dot screen and then the first letter of screen is capital which is s and then we have to start our parentheses and end it and then we have to do dot bg color so bg color just stands for background color and then we're going to do our parentheses again the color you want so i'm just going to do mine as navy so that's just kind of like a darkest blue so now let's run it and see what happens so as you see over here it's going to set the turtle's pen color to yellow and you can also see a little black outline and then it's also going to set the background color to navy Alright, so now let's make the face. So I've just added a comment letting you know what this section of code means. So the first thing you have to type is t.beginfill, as we want the face to be yellow. I think it's sort of like an emoji, actually. Then we're going to do t.penup, because we want it to go to a specific location. And then we're going to make it go to a coordinate. So the coordinates for this one are going to be 0, comma negative 200 then we're going to do dot pen down so it can draw on the screen again and now we're going to do a big circle so we type t dot circle and then the radius is going to be 130 and then we're going to do t dot pen up again as we need to get ready to draw the eyes next and of course we have to do t dot end fill so it will finish making it yellow Alright, so now I'm going to run it and show you what it looks like so far. So it's going to draw a yellow circle and there's going to be an outline. So there's no eyes and the mouth, but we're going to do that next. So in order to do the eyes, we have to make a separate left eye and a right eye. It's not going to be that complicated, so don't worry. So in order to do the left eye, and I'm going to make a comment again. So we're going to set the colour to black, so t.color, and then we have to make it go to a position. And then we're going to do t.begin fill, and then we're going to do t.pen down, and then we're going to do t.circle, and then we're going to make it 20 because the eyes are not going to be like as big as the face. And then t.in fill. Alright, so now let's run it. So it's going to draw the circle, then draw the left eye. So now we're going to make the right eye. So the right eye is not actually that complicated. What we have to do is just copy paste the left eye code as it's going to be similar to that, except we're going to change it a little. And then since I've commented it, I'm going to change left to right. Then we can delete t.color black because we've already set the color. So the right eye is going to be black in. I mean, it's a spelling mistake over here. And actually, this part is the same, but I'm just going to delete t.go2. So just to make this simple, I'm just going to make it go forward 180. So I'm just going to explain you why I'm doing it in a second. So when it finishes drawing the circle, so it's going to point to the right. And then it's going to go forward 80 steps. So it's just going to go like long enough so the eyes are like not too close and not too far together. And it's going to draw the other eye. I think we should make it 80 so it's a, so the gap is a bit smaller. So we're just going to run it. So it's going to draw the left eye and then it's going to draw the right eye. So this program isn't actually like too long as the shapes one. So the last thing we have to do is, is draw the mouth. So I'm just going to make a comment again. So now we're going to change the pen size and we want the mouth to be fairly thicker than the other parts of the face. And then we're going to do t.go2 and the coordinates we're going to make it go to are negative 45 and then negative 10. Then we're going to do t.write45. So this is just making it ready to draw the face so it's going to start going down. And then now we're going to do t.pen down so it can draw now. Then we're going to make it go do t. 
forward 30. So we're just going to point down and then it's going to make it go forward 30. And then we're going to do t dot left 45. So when it goes down like this, it will turn left and then it's ready to go forward again. And then we're going to do t dot forward 30. Actually, if you want, you can make it 50 so that the middle of the mouth is a bit longer than the sides. So if you want, you can do that. Then I'm going to make it turn left again. So it's going to go forward 50, then it's going to turn left again, ready to draw the last line. And then we're going to make it go forward by 30. It's not actually like curvy, but this is the best we can do for now. So I'm just going to run it. So it's going to draw the eyes, and there, it's going to draw the mouth. So it will be like in the similar shape, like I said. So at the end, you can make the turtle hide, so it won't see it when it's finished drawing, so you can see it without the turtle. So we have to do t.hide turtle, and then we have to start up parentheses and end it. And I'm just going to show you it. So after it's finished drawing the smiley face, it's just going to hide the turtle. So yeah guys, the project is finished. So it's actually like fairly short and pretty easy to do. And maybe you can actually make like a sad face. And also you can make like various emojis. Like you can make a crying face emoji, a laughing face emoji, an angry emoji. You can make whatever you want. So guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And if you want me to do like any other cool projects, you can tell me in the comment section below. And bye!